Hey guys, it's Taylor from The Girl on Blur Blog and I am back with another delicious meal prep recipe you just have to try. Today we're taking the oatmeal you know and love and packing in a powerful protein punch. Oatmeal is one of those classic things you eat for breakfast. It's super easy to make and you can really jazz it up and add just about anything to make it more exciting. Oats are one of the healthiest grains on earth. They're gluten-free whole grain and a great source of important vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Studies show that oats have many health benefits and can assist with weight loss, lower blood sugar levels, and a reduced risk of heart disease. They're a superfood, you guys. They are the MVP all-star breakfast. If you're not already incorporating them into your diet, you're missing out. While oatmeal does have a little bit of protein by itself, about two and a half grams per serving, it's not nearly enough to keep you feeling full for several hours before lunch. If you've ever been on my site, you've probably noticed my recipe for overnight oats. And the reason I love that recipe for meal prep is because I add some extra protein with the almond milk and Greek yogurt. Now, with a warm oatmeal such as this one, you may not necessarily want to be heating Greek yogurt. That said, in this recipe, we're adding some protein powder to really up the protein content while still giving you that taste and texture that you're used to with warm oatmeal. And of course, I'm giving you some meal prep tips and tricks so you can enjoy this yummy breakfast any day of the week. Now let's get started. First up, you're going to add your oatmeal and almond milk to a large saucepan. Whether you like to enjoy oatmeal warm or cold, you will need to cook your oats for a little bit first so that they soak up some of the liquid and expand to form more of a creamy consistency. You could technically make these oats fresh on the stove every single morning, but I prefer to whip up a big batch at the beginning of the week because they taste just as good reheated and the texture doesn't change too much. I am always telling people that they need to try meal prepping because it really is a time saver. And that's what I hope to show you here today. In just 20 minutes, you can have breakfast ready for the entire week. You've only had to cook and make a mess once. So you're going to add your oats to the saucepan and turn the heat to a nice and steady medium. You're either going to want to go with large flake oats or rolled oats here. You can technically use any type of oats you'd like, even quick oats, but because quick oats are the most processed version, they are going to cook super quickly. It might even become a little bit mushy, so it's your call here. You've officially been warned about the mush factor. Large flake oats are rolled oats that have been cut into several pieces before being steamed and flattened into thinner flakes. Now they cook in about five minutes. Rolled oats, also known as old fashioned oats, take about 15 minutes to cook because they are less processed, so keep these cooking times in mind if you need to use those. You can also use steel cut oats, to keep in mind that those take about 30 minutes to cook and they will give you more of a chewy texture. Whichever oats you choose, add them to the pot. Pour in some milk of choice, then you're going to bring everything to a boil. I like to go with unsweetened plain almond milk because that's the lowest in calories, but you can use regular dairy milk, coconut milk, soy milk, oat milk, cashew milk, etc. whatever your heart desires. I love going with coconut milk sometimes because of the flavor, then I'll add some pineapple and shredded coconut to make it more of a tropical oatmeal. You can get so creative here. Once you've brought your oatmeal and milk to a boil, you'll reduce the heat to a simmer and then cook them together for about five minutes. Now remember, the time will vary depending on the oats used, but if you've gone with large flake oats like I have, this will be your cook time. Once the oats have cooked up and the oatmeal is thick and creamy, you'll stir in a scoop of protein powder along with hemp hearts, pumpkin seeds, vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. I always get asked what type of protein powder I use since there are so many options out there on the market. I use a whey protein powder that my mom typically picks up from Costco for me called Kaizen Naturals. I believe you can order it online too. When looking for protein powder, you basically want to ensure that you are using a protein isolate and that the protein powder contains in and around 25 to 35 grams of protein with minimal carbs and sugars. That is a good benchmark for selecting a protein powder. Now, whey protein powders may upset your stomach if you are sensitive to lactose, so you may want to choose an alternative such as pea protein, rice protein, soy protein, etc. There are actually a ton of vegan protein powders out there these days with all kinds of different ingredients such as sunflower seed protein powder and chia protein powder. So definitely look and see what your options are in case you need a strictly plant-based protein. Taste and textures will all vary among protein powders too, so that's something to keep in mind. Because I don't have any dietary restrictions or sensitivities, I just keep it easy with the whey protein, but do what works for you. Now I know that I've mentioned this in a previous video, but you can also get these little sample packs of protein powder to try if you're shopping around and trying to find the one that works best for you. So definitely feel free to explore that option as well. Now, I include hemp hearts and pumpkin seeds in this recipe because they pack in some protein and extra nutrients. You don't have to add them in, but they do make this oatmeal healthier and more nutritious, so I highly recommend that you do. Hemp hearts, like oats, are a great source of fiber. They pack in an arsenal of vitamins and are filled with calcium and iron. They have a bit of a nutty flavor, but they are relatively low in calories while high in protein, so I like to add them to up the protein count. Pumpkin seeds, on the other hand, are filled with healthy fats, magnesium, and zinc, and add a bit of crunch while again upping the protein content. I wasn't kidding when I named this recipe protein oatmeal. You wanted protein and I've delivered. Now, the vanilla extract and pinch of salt are just to add some flavor without having to add any sweeteners or spices. You can feel free to mix 
up the toppings. You can use almond or coconut extract instead, or even some cinnamon and nutmeg. Cocoa powder is another great add-in, and you can even add pumpkin puree into these oats when it's the fall, and you feel like being a basic white girl like me. Another one of my favorite combos is apple cinnamons. Definitely don't be afraid to get creative and make these oats your own. Typically what I'll do once I'm done making the oatmeal is to divide the mixture among four meal prep bowls and top of fruit. If you're looking to reheat the oatmeal but you don't want the fruit to be warm, I recommend storing the fruit in separate containers so you can add it fresh. You can also eat this oatmeal cold, so if that's the case, load your berries right on there. To reheat leftover oatmeal, sprinkle some water or extra milk over top and then microwave for one to two minutes, stirring halfway through. This should make your oatmeal fresh again and revive it completely. It's one of those meals that tastes just as good two days later as it does fresh. You can also add other toppings such as unsweetened shredded coconut or whatever else you're feeling. You've got yourself a healthy breakfast prepped out for the whole week. You really just can't go wrong with delicious piping hot oatmeal in the morning. Each serving of this recipe is about 300 calories, so it's a great low calorie option for those of you who are looking for a hearty filling breakfast that's also calorie wise. I really can't even stop going on about the benefits of this delicious breakfast. You are just going to love it and want to make it over and over again. Now, in the rare event that you do get sick of this oatmeal recipe, I've got you covered with more healthy meal prep breakfast on the blog, some using oats and some not. I have a variety of sweet and savory options, so there is something for everyone. Head on over to the breakfast archives to see for yourself. I've linked to them below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I am super pumped to see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more meal prep magic, and I will see you again soon.